Hello, my name is Andras Talos. I'm technical consultant and Comprian. I will show you in this video the concept of the eSIM Tracer tool and also show you a short demo how to use the eSIM Tracer tool. So let's start. Let's start with the concept of the APDU tracing adapter and the eSIM Tracer tool. So the eSIM Tracer monitoring tool contains two components. One is the so-called device eSIM tracer adapter, which is on the middle of the screen with light blue. And the other one is the Comprian eSIM tracer. And this is with green, with dark blue on the right hand side of the screen. What we need to understand is that in case we want to access to the APD logs of a device which contains an eSIM, there is a need to access to a proprietary interface which contains this data in a proprietary data format. That's why the concept of using a device eSIM tracer adapter has been introduced by Comprion. The role of the device eSIM tracer adapter is to access this proprietary data on the proprietary interface and to translate this data into a Comprion defined data syntax and make available this data on a Comprion defined interface which is basically a web interface. Since chipset providers defines proprietary interface and proprietary data format, the device eSIM tracer adapter is chipset specific. In this demo, I will show you the eSIM tracer adapter, which is developed for Qualcomm chipsets. The Comprian eSIM tracer monitoring tool, which is with dark blue on the screen, accessing the data from the device eSIM tracer adapter and decodes and translates the APDUs and also visualizes them on the screen. Then these APDUs can be used by the tester person to analyze the communication between the eSIM and the baseband. In the demo, I will use our Qualcomm APDU tracing adapter and a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 phone. A prerequisite for the setup is to install Qualcomm USB driver on the test laptop and to set the USB device settings to an option which includes ADPL plus QDSS. This is needed in order to access the device on the Qualcomm USB diagnostic port. Physically, the setup is a phone connected with USB cable to the test PC. Before starting the Comprian software, I open the device manager to check on which COM port the device is available. I go to the ports and check the Qualcomm USB diagnostic port is on COM6. After checking the COM port in the device manager, I'm opening the Qualcomm adapter from the Comprian tools. The adapter is running on the background, so I can go to the system tray and choose the icon, which is this one. If I go with the mouse over the icon, it will display on which, po on which port it is connected. And this is six, which is right. In case I need to change the port which is used by the Qualcomm adapter, I need to right click on the icon, go to the configure option and here refresh the ports and select the right one. But for now, COM6 is the right one. To check about the status of the connection, I can right click on the icon and choose the status option. and the is available change to true it means that the adapter is connected on the com port after starting the adapter now i start the eSIM tracer monitoring tool it can be found also among the comprian tools and can be started like any other tool
and the UI appears. To start the recording of the live APDU traffic, you just simply need to click on the record button and the bottom of the status bar, you can see the connection status. So the connection is established on the right COM port. The buffer data is displayed on the screen, but I don't need it, so I clear it before I start the live APDU traffic logging. In the demo, I will use the function to enable the profile to log the APDU traffic, but similarly, I can also use the function which downloads the profile or which deletes or enables the profile. Same way, I can use any function which happens during the operation and it will log the APDU traffic between the eSIM and the baseband. So I go to my phone, SIM manager, and click on the enabling of the profile. You can see the live transaction between the eSIM and the baseband displayed on the screen. What you can see on the main UI, it's a timestamp, the command itself, the status of the command, and the row command APDU and response APDU. This monitoring tool currently includes four translation modules, one for the standard Etsy commands, one for global platform commands, one for SGP22, consumer UICC commands, and one for SGP32, IoT UICC commands. Let me show you how the translation looks like. So I filter on the store data commands and choose one, for example, here this one. And on the right hand side of the picture, under the details window, you will see the information, including some basics, context, description, raw data, and at the bottom, the translation. This was a profile info list request command for which the prof profile info list response command retur returned by the EUICC. You can see in the translation all the metadata of the profile. Let's select another command. Select command. For example, select MF. You can see here also, the basic information about the command, the context, the description with P1, P2 interpretation, raw data time, and the translation. The translation in this case is the FCP of the MF. You can save the logged content into a JSON data format. Let me show you how the save data looks like. I opened for this the Notepad plus plus. And in the Notepad plus plus, I open the JSON file. I go to the documents, and choose this file. You can see that the JSON file contains only the basic information without the translation. So you can see for one command response APDU pairs, the index, the timestamp, and the row APDUs. This is also possible to export the logged file into an HTML or PDF format. Let me log in HTML format and let me open the HTML file to show you the content. You can see this is basically the same format as displayed on the UI of the tool. So these are the main functionalities of this tool. I hope you found it useful and thank you for your attention. Goodbye.